really sure what's going on. So we have just checked in and we had over 13 pieces of luggage. It probably would have been better for our vlog if we were here on our own and we struggled to get everything, but the reality is we had a lot of help. Going. You want to see a dragon? Oh, I think if you get close, maybe his eyes will open. Where's River? He's off. And here's me, slightly apprehensive mother, with my primary concerns being airport transitions, two, keeping the boys happy, three, managing River's high energy, and still liking all of each other at the end of the journey. Where are you going? I don't think you're gonna go down there, buddy. Because that's the up one. Love me hey, get back here. Whoa, me Where are you running off to, Zaki? You gotta move your legs, Zaki. Okay, big step. Big step. Yeah, one after the other. Step. Ready? Last, over the finish line. Go, go, go. That's it. Not only did they let us use our strollers all the way onto the plane, but they let us board first and get settled before the other passengers arrive. What are you looking for, River? So that's Zach. Nervous flyer too. He's in a much better place if he can wear some headphones. Please listen closely while we take you through the safety requirements for our Airbus A320. What's out there, River? It's it, it, Did you just take your headphones off? How do you feel? As far as flights go, this one was perfect. The boys remained cheery. The toys and TV kept them occupied. The only downside was the turbulence. It's been a bit of turbulence the last half an hour. It's been a bit stressed. Hey, River. What's happening? We're landing. We're landing? Accessible exit to a plane that we've done. How many pieces, love? 13 pieces. This is a record for us. Where are you going? What are you trying to do? We were a bit anxious about how we we're going to be able to get through customs. Enter awesome air hostess one. Not only did she help us get all our baggage together, but she helped us all the way through the airport to where our family awaited. That's amazing. So the first flight was a success, but we only had a short period before our next leg and we needed to turn all of this into something we can travel the world with, like this. Jesse, it looks like we've got a little bit less stuff this time. We do. We have less stuff, although I'm a little bit disappointed because I really wanted to only have one check-in piece of luggage and we were all ready to go last night. We had everything in and then we found our two extra backpacks that the boys sit in and one of them couldn't fit in. So we now have an extra duffel bag and I'm a little bit nervous because it's the first time we've taken our kids anywhere um, that's other than Australia and New Zealand and having some health and disability stuff. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Because we are going to the beach. Yeah. No. Malaysia. To Malaysia. Made a little car and took it into Where town. Are you going? Drove that car till the sun went down. Jalopy be popping through the snow. Rock and roll on the radio. The Brisbane airport really worked for us. Tune in the morning, silly bird. Tune in the morning, blackbird sitting there on a stump. Well, we just got through customs. It was a bit of a palaver, but they were actually amazing because they didn't make us take our boys out of our strollers because they can't walk. Anyway, so far Brisbane Airport, you've been really accessible. 
I'm busy. I'm glad we got here three hours early because we've got like five minutes to have to board and we just got through. What you doing, Tim? Chopping up Rivers medicine. We did wipe it, didn't we? We didn't at first. We did Andy back the um, surface. Silly bird, Thank you. tune in the morning, silly bird. Thumbs up. Tune in the morning, silly bird. Tune in the morning, blackbird sitting there on a blackbird sitting there on a blackbird sitting there on a stump. <laughs> Ribby, you ready to get on the plane, Mister? <laughs> yeah. Hey? Is Aki, yes. you ready to get onto the plane? That's the one I'm nervous about. He's got so much energy. Ready to brave this? Got no choice right now. That one, Zaki. A lollipop. A lollipop. I think we picked a bit early. I haven't even taken off, and Jess is giving the kids sugar. It's a recipe for disaster. It's a So let's be honest here, the quality of the flight comes down to how well you can keep the kids entertained. And I reckon we nailed it on this one. Look at my statue. <laughs> Did you make a statue? And I'm, and I'm fighting my lollipop. You're fighting your lollipop? Why do we have a lollipop? Because our ears are popping and we're coming into land. Totally wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Look, I Except put funny own. shoes on. My husband's a bit scared of flying, so he's been scared the whole flight. Super bumpy? Yeah. I hate flying. Yeah. I don't want to spell one. I really wish I could never sleep over at the airport. Oh, we're going to in the hotel. Thank you. Well done, Jesse. First Jessie. leg done. First leg done. Cool. But it is quite a busy airport, so. I'm not sure where we're going, just uh, following the crowd. Time to move my legs. So, KL Airport is massive and it's vibrant. And after sitting on the plane for so many hours just staring at each other, we were happy with the distraction. That's impressive. So, how was immigration? Easy and uh, great that they had an accessible support again. All we need now is our walkers. We need the walkers. Mom. Would you like something to eat? Yeah. Okay, let's get some snacks in bed. So here's Jess, concerned mother one. And at this point, we've been waiting at least 30 minutes for our walkers to turn up. The last thing you need after a long haul flight. It's coming. Yeah. Two walkers, fresh off the plane. Okay, let's go everyone. Tim, look out that window at the lushness of Asia. So? What you looking for? Uh, we booked a hotel that we can walk to, so... So, we just checked out of our airport hotel and we are about to check in to our 14-hour flight from the of London. Food is on the messy face and on the little neck. We will get the messy face free of specs. Food is on the messy face and just because we should. That's, there's all the luggage, there's not much there. I wish there was less. Clean for good. Clean for good. Come on. We will get it clean for good. Come on. Come on. Mummy's gonna go pay. Okay. We've spent the 
I'm gonna go. Papa's gonna go get you guys some breakfast. Boy, kids haven't eaten yet, so I wanna go. That's the best start. I wanna go. For some reason that took like an hour and a half and not really sure what went on. We did have the world's friendliest lady who checked us in, so she managed to get us great seats with leg room for our kids and um, didn't charge us for it, which she was meant to. Let's see the question. The question. Departing for gate C1 to C37. Becky, who are you talking to? The pilot bully didn't answer. He didn't answer? Yeah. Aww. Come in, come in. Come in. Hello. Ruvo, are you sitting on the wing? Is the wing of the plane out there? No. So far, so good. Just waiting to take off. The boys are happy with the anticipation of a lollipop and toys that their papa sport. Who's that? Who's your toys? This is Night Ninja. And who's the other one? Kicker. Are you ready for your big flight? Luckily, we got lots of floor space, which Mummy's happy about. Papa's conveniently sitting away from us all. Four, five, six. Then what? Take off! Take off. Well, I don't mind the slow down anymore. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. I don't mind selling out or playing cover song. As long as friends and family sing along And I don't need more money or a faster car no. Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar no. I'm gonna take this little house and make a home And then I'll never have to face my taxes Something about flying over the half the world really spoke to me on this flight and seeing that map and those mountains really lifted my soul at the possibilities that life has for our family. So we're in the home stretch in three hours or four hours left. And we are getting desperate so we're turning to muffins. Uh, it's about nine o'clock the boys' time. Maybe later, like eleven. And so with only 90 minutes left in the air and both boys asleep, we thought we had conquered over 26 hours of flying without any major upsets. And then it happened. The sleeping tigers awoke. <coughs> Zaki. First cuddle with your mum, River. Hey. So this is where it all started for us as a family. Our beautiful boys, born early, with lots of medical complications, 